First of all, I give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God, and Yahweh means He is. Bahashem is in the name, and Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, meaning He delivers. Bahashem, Rakakwadash means in the name of the Holy Spirit. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who teach us this truth in the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, and also salutation, peace, love, and blessing to the hopeful elect, beginning with the men giving your bodies up as living sacrifices, as well as all of those men, women, and children who are waking up to this truth and sincerely hastening the day that Yahweh Shai, our, our Messiah, our Savior, our Lord and Savior, comes and delivers us while destroying our enemies and setting up the kingdom of heaven. You know. I'm the brother Ramak Kimyan from Great Millstone, Miami, and the topic of this video is the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, desireth truth in the inward parts, you know, and I get that from Psalm chapter 51, verse 6, it says, Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part, thou shalt make me to know wisdom. And the inward parts and the hidden parts are our innermost thoughts. Our innermost intents, you know, you know, that that it should be geared and longing for and desiring what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is pleased with, you know, which is wisdom and truth. King David wrote this psalm and he prayed this prayer. The psalm is a prayer to the Heavenly Father for mercy and forgiveness. He also prayed that the Heavenly Father, you know, get his inward parts right, you know. That his inward parts be right, that the Lord cleanses him, you know, along with that forgiveness, along with the mercies that we need from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, that he actually make us better, you know, that that truth be within us. It's in our innermost thoughts, it's in our thinking, it's in our ways. The Lord guide our, our ways and our paths, you know, that we're not just, it's not a, it's not about a, a, a outward show or outward appearance, which Man could be fooled by that, but the Heavenly Father isn't, you know? So you won't, as the Heavenly Father desires this truth, these words, these statutes, which we find in the scriptures, man, what we're hearing from, from, the, from the apostles and the elders and the brothers, what we're preaching, you know, what, what we're confessing, that needs to be in you. That truth, the faith, you know, and the things that the Heavenly Father tells us how to be in these scriptures, man, you know? In your inward parts, because hey, here's Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 10. It says, I, the Lord, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, search the heart. I try the reins. So the Lord searched the heart and tried the reins, man. And, and, and this is a very comforting scripture for me. Why? Because I, I know the Heavenly Father knows those that fear him, that tremble at his word, and that love him because he loved us first. But knowing that he sees all of that. He's, he, he created thoughts. He created, he's the father of spirits. Knowing that he knows all the intents, you want to be right in that area before the heavenly father, man. You know, right in your belief in him, right in your faith in him, right in your trust in him. The things that we, we preach in, the things that, 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 that we confess that we believe, let that be in you, you know, and that's along with the humility, that's along with with, with the long suffering, the patience, the temperance, you know, all of that, the Lord is searching and he, and, and he wants within us, man. It says, I, the Lord search the heart. I try the reins, even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings, you know, and we want mercy for, for our doings. We want, we want mercy and salvation, deliverance. And as you walk, in this truth, and really for everyone on the planet Earth, what's within you comes out you. You know? What's within you is going to come out you. So you want the Heavenly Father to have that truth and His Spirit upon you and in you, and in you, which is in us. And we pray that He never takes it from us, man. You know? And here's the book of St. John, chapter 4, verse 23. It says, But the hour cometh, and now is. And shoot, especially now, Yahweh Shai is about to come, <laughs> you know, he, he he's about to arrive with, with the angels, with the host, 
with the with the angelic host of the heavenly father, you know? But the hour cometh and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the father in spirit and in truth, for the father seeketh such to worship him. The heavenly father is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. And we preaching these words, we're, we're, we're saying the names of Yahweh Shai by the Holy Spirit, man. And he 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 won't us to I, and, and and don't get it twisted. You got to be teaching this truth, man. The right doctrine, breaking down these scriptures, right? Teaching the lambs of the, of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Got to be leading them in the right path in prophecies, you know, in exhortations, you know. With the, the character scriptures, you got to be breaking them down the right way. That's this truth that we have that the Heavenly Father has given a hey, to His men, which we learn from our apostles and elders. The Lord gave it to them, but also in spirit, you know. And that's why we pray to Yahweh Shem Shai, cast us not from His presence and take not His Holy Spirit from us, because those who 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 are worshiping Him, worshiping Him in spirit and in truth, those are who the Father seeketh. To worship him, man. Those are the ones that's gonna be lifted up in a chariot, man. You know? And live in 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 living forever, receiving the crown from Yahabashai. And that's what we hope and expect, and that's what we pray for, man. Here's the book of Revelation, chapter 14, verse 1. It says, And I looked and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion, and with him a hundred and forty-four thousand, having his father's name written in their foreheads. And that's Yahweh shining the 144,000. Having the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, written in our foreheads. Lord willing, we are that, that elect, man. That's why we call ourselves the hopeful elect. You know? His name written in our foreheads. Meaning we're calling upon the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And, and we're moving with the fear and the faith and the wisdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai by His Spirit. You know? Moving along, moving with the Spirit. Of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know? The spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai moving us. You know? To, to, to worship him. You know? To, to, to be delivered. To be saved. To receive that mercy. So verse 2. It says, And I heard a voice from heaven as the voice of many waters. And as the voice of a great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. And they sung it. As it were, a new song before the throne. And the song is this truth. This this truth, the correct doctrine. You know? Calling you have to call upon the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to be saved and delivered. You know? If you don't call upon those names, you can't be delivered. You know? The mark of the beast is the RF, RFID chip. You know? Esau Edom, that is a so-called white man. The heathens cannot be saved. Only Israel could be saved. Only the elect will be saved and delivered. When Yahweh Shai comes, you know, that's the song that we're singing. We're going to rule forever, you know. And it says, and before the four beasts and the elders, and no man could learn that song, but the hundred and forty and four thousand, which were redeemed from the earth. Hey, so, so to be singing this song, to be preaching this word, to be confessing the names of Yahweh Shai, hey, we're doing what the one hundred forty four thousand will be doing. We're, we're, we're in that lot right now. As long as we continue and we pray that we continue and get to the day that Yahweh Shah comes and, and deliver us. But verse four and five, we're going to get the point that I wanted to get on this. These are they, the 144,000 men, which were not defiled with women, not defiled with these philosophies and not defiled with the ways of this world, man. You know, but really going back to the, these different philosophies, these different idols out here, you know. For they are virgins. These are they which follow the land whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto Yahweh into the land. And in their mouth was found no gal. For they are without fault before the throne of Yahweh. No gal. You're not teaching lies. Lies isn't within you. You know? So that's what Yahweh Bashim Shai wants from his men. You know? No gal within us. No, no, no teaching lies. No gal within our hearts. You know? Meaning is truth and truth and in sincerity. Uh, uh, meek, humble, contrite. You know? Total, hey, totally hoping and depending on 
and trusting in the mercy of Yahweh by Shemiah was shy. In his Romans chapter 2, verse 28, it says, For he is not a Jew which is one outwardly, neither is that circumcision which is outward in the flesh. So it's not about an outward appearance. It ain't about being the baddest Israelite, the most mightiest Israelite. And everybody, you want everybody to see, you, you know, uh, your Passover festivities, you know, so-called. For those who, who turn something like the Passover into a big old party. And you want the whole world to see. This is not about, this is not about that. It's not about all about being the, the, the most eloquent or the, or the best teacher. And yes, we're supposed to learn this word to teach it, you know. To bring out these prophecies or break down the scriptures the right way. But we better be moving with that in our daily lives, man. Because Romans 2 and 29, it says, But he is a Jew, which is one inwardly. And circumcision is that of the heart, in the spirit, and not in the letter. Whose praise is not of men, but of Yahweh by Shemiah was shy. Right, man. You, hey, hey, because because men could be deceived. Men could deceive you. The Lord... The Heavenly Father, Yahweh, sits up in the heavens. He's not, he's not concerned. He's not impressed about, you know, the outward appearance down here. When he knows exactly what's in your intents, man. And if you really being about what you're talking about. And more importantly, being about what these scriptures are saying, man. More and more, you know, because it's, 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 it's levels, you know. You're going to start from, you're going to start at this glory, you're going to. Go to the next glory, to the next glory. But in order to do that, it takes it takes you praying to Yahweh Shemi Shai to you know to, to to keep that spirit upon you to do that, man. You know, and also to to keep on doing to the best of your ability what these scriptures say to do, especially when it comes to character. You know, but here's the book of um Proverbs chapter four verse seven. It says. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom and with all thy getting, get understanding. So we are supposed to be getting this wisdom, not just so, you know, we, we, we could look like geniuses before those who are without this truth, you know, because that's that, that'd be the flesh, man. We getting this wisdom because we need the understanding that we're supposed to be getting out of this wisdom is the heavenly father, Yahweh, and his son, Yahweh, Shah, they, they run everything, man. And they coming down with wrath. And they coming down with salvation and deliverance, which was written since before the foundations of the earth. This is their show. And we want to be on their right hand. We want to be on their side when they come. You know, we want to be doing what we need to be doing. Teaching this word out on the streets, posting up these videos and also in our daily walk, because the Lord is watching us at all times. That's that understanding that <laughs> really love the Lord with all your heart and love thy neighbor as thyself, man. Doing what these scriptures say, and and you learn more and more in this truth. Now, it's 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 a it's a process. You learn more and more in this truth. Why this says that, or why the Lord says to do this, you know. And as you grow, you get more. It, it could be the same scripture. You don't got the understanding on it. You, you you understand it, but you get more understanding on it later on. Like yeah, that's why the Lord say to handle it that way. You see. You know, well, that's why the Lord say to do this. That's why the Lord say don't don't do that. These scriptures are under our wisdom, knowledge, understanding the statutes of the heavenly father, man. And that's what needs to be in our innermost thoughts, you know. But here's first Peter chapter two, verse one, it says, Wherefore, laying aside all malice and all guile and hypocrisies and envies and all evil speakings. As newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that you may grow thereby. If so be, ye have tasted that the Lord is gracious, man. And, and we're and, and when we're in this truth, we're tasting it. We're, we're, we're eating. We're eating of the of the Passover, man. We're eating of Yahweh Shai, you know. But we got to do what these scriptures says, man. You know, and put off that malice, all of those things of the flesh. The Lord want that out of you. And that's why we be chastened. That's why we go. That's hey. That's why we. Uh, that's why we. Uh, uh, go through different things, man. Go through tribulations. You know, you may get rebuked. You know, because the Lord is purging all of this stuff from us. The Lord don't want none of that in us, man. 
That shit of the world. Verse 4, to whom coming as unto a living stone, Yahweh Shai, disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of the heavenly father and precious. Ye also as lively stones are built up a spiritual house. Spiritual, not carnal. Even when, look, with, with Esau Edom, he's our enemy. We're in a spiritual warfare against him. We can't beat him carnally. It's spiritual. The Lord said he, he will be devoured by the word of his mouth, by his prophets preaching this word. You know, a spiritual house. We don't have a physical temple to go to. We're in the temples of the heavenly father, man. It says a holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to the most high by Yahweh Shah Mashiach. You know, that's the point. You know, the Lord wants them spiritual sacrifices because back in the day, a hey, Israel will, 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 will sin and go off willfully and just and just do all the animal sacrifices they could afford, man. And the Lord was sick of that, man. The Lord did away with that. He want us to be that holy, acceptable sacrifice unto him, man. You know? He want, he want us purified, man. And yes, when Yahweh Shah come in the chariots, that's when we're that's when we're really gonna be purified, man. You know? When he lifts us up and we're going to be incorruptible, man. New bodies. No more sin at all. And, but the Lord is going to give that to, to, to who? Those who are now hungering and thirsting for righteousness. Those who are now waiting upon Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. In spirit and in truth. Sticking to this truth. Holding fast what you have, man. You know? Having that faith. Really having that faith to yourself as the scripture says. You know? Faith that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is will deliver you in faith in these scriptures that that these are the words of truth and if you believe that you're gonna want to do more and more and behave in that manner you know and think in that manner but here's the book of philippians um chapter two verse one let's read five verses from here it says if there be therefore any consolation in your habashai if any comfort of love if any fellowship of the spirit if any bowels and mercies Fulfill you my joy that you be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. Let nothing be done through strife or vainglory, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. And we have to remember that, man. You should be esteeming every brother above yourself, man. Having lowliness of mind, you know. Because you know why? Because our shit stink. We all go off and we all... Sitting here hoping that Yahweh shall have mercy upon us, man. You know? And that's the mind that we all should have. Verse 4, look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. And the point is right here. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. Not, not CJ or whatever, you know, what it says right there. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, man. We, we won't. We're supposed to have his mind in us, man. Getting down, how he get down. You know, what would Yahweh Shai do? How would he handle this situation? You know? We need to that need to be in our inward parts, man. And it's and, and it will show. And then it will show. You know? But first it gotta be inwardly, man. You know? Here's the book of um Second Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5. It says. Examine yourselves whether you be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know you not your own selves, how that Yahweh Shah Hamashiach is in you. Except you be reprobates, man. And, 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 and look, man, fuck that reprobate shit, man. You know? Because look, the Lord is coming with judgment. And when he comes, you know, hey, hey, you don't want to be lukewarm. You don't want to be reprobate, man. You want Yahweh by Shimei Abishai to deliver you, man. Built, you you want to be having built yourself up to that point, enduring, and, and it's all love you. How about me? I was shy, you know. So examine yourselves, man. Are you really about this? Is it showing in your walk? Is is it is it ruling your thoughts? You know. You know what I'm saying. But here's the book. Um, the book of Psalm, chapter twenty five, verse twenty one. It says, "Let integrity." And uprightness preserve me. For I wait on thee. That's a prayer to pray to the Heavenly Father. That integrity. You know. And integrity. 
is 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 really being solid even when no one is watching. You know? That's what you want, and especially in these times to come. Because it could be different situations the Heavenly Father put us in. So yeah, you hey, pray, hey, be in the spirit, you know. So when you know, you know, sow to the spirit. Reap to the spirit, you're gonna sow to the spirit. So lock you. Reap to the spirit, and you shall sow spiritual things, spiritual power, deliverances from the heavenly father. You know? By 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 fearing him, by making him your refuge, setting your love upon him. You know? Let integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I wait on thee. And here's the book of Psalms, chapter 139, verse 21. Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee? And am not I grieved with those that rise up against me? I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them my enemies. And that's the spirit we're supposed to be in. Hating this world. Hating our enemies. You know? Looking forward to the downfall of Esau Edom. The downfall of all wickedness. Because we actually sigh and cry for the abominations that's done in this place, man. Verse 23. Search me, O Yahweh, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. And see if there be any wicked way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. That's the spirit right there, man. That's the prayer right there to pray to the to the heavenly father. See if there be any wicked way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. You know, you don't want none of the, the things which the scriptures tell us the Lord doesn't like, man. Whether it be pride, malice, gal, whatever, unbelief. You want none of that getting in the way of you being delivered and saved at the coming of Yahweh shot. You know, so the heavenly father, Yahweh and his son, Yahweh Shai, desire that truth in our inward parts. You know, and when we do these videos, we're speaking to ourselves first and foremost. I'm speaking to myself first and foremost, man. Let's do and think, you know, more and more in spirit and truth as Yahweh Shai would, having his mind. So with that, I give all praises, honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom all.